Everyone loves a good story and a good storyteller. But there is no storyteller like the Lord Jesus, and there are no greater stories told than the ones Jesus shared. In this study, Spiritual Stories, we consider the parables Jesus told and their application to us. These are truly the greatest stories ever told, and the Lord has something He wants to say to you through them. Let's join Scott Pauley now. Today we begin a brand new study that I have been thinking about and praying toward and working toward for some time, and it is a study of the parables of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, parables are actually found all through the Word of God, not just in the ministry of our Lord, but it was Jesus who gave them perfectly. He was the master teacher, the master preacher, and the master parable user. And so we're going to study these spiritual stories Perhaps as a child, you heard someone say that a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Well, I think that's true, but I want to remind you that the the heavenly meaning has a personal and present application. Don't get the idea that this is some far-off truth. No, my friend. In fact, exactly the opposite. The reason Jesus used parables was to bring the truth he wanted to teach near to our lives, into everyday understanding. So, Really what we're going to do is we're going to study the parables Jesus told and their application to us. It was Charles Spurgeon that said the sermon doesn't even begin until the application begins. I would argue that if you study the Bible, any portion of the Bible, and especially the parables, and fail to make application, you've missed the whole point because Jesus never wanted us to be hearers of the word. He wanted us to be doers of the word. So before we launch in to the individual parables of Jesus, let's begin today just with a little introduction in Mark chapter number four, where there are two verses that describe for us how Jesus used these parables. Now, Christ was more than a storyteller. He was a truth teller. So when we study the parables of Jesus, get this fixed in your mind. This is more than just a story. This is more than just entertainment. This is more Uh, than just Jesus being interesting or uh, appealing to the curiosity seekers or trying to draw a crowd. No, no, the story has spiritual substance. Why did he use them? Well, he used them because, frankly, uh, truth has to be seen to be understood. There's a spiritual uh, principle here. God is not just opening our ears. He's opening our eyes. I don't know if you're like this or not. I'm a visual learner. If I can see something, I remember it. If I can if I can visualize it, I can understand it. And everybody loves a good story. Stories are universal. Around the world and in every generation, people love to hear stories. Well, in that part of the world, not just in Jesus' day, but even today, truth is most often conveyed through the use of narrative. They They tell a story to give a truth. And that's why Jesus used them. And did he ever use them effectively? Mark chapter 4, verses 33 and 34 says this, And with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. Now, uh, these two verses, Mark 4, 33 and 34, are found in one of the parabolic sections that we'll come back to. We'll study each of the parables uh, in detail, individually. Uh, But these two verses really are fascinating because they explain something about the use of parables by the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, He begins with declaration. The Bible says that he was speaking the word. Now, that's what we're called on to do, isn't it? To, To give people the word of God, to give them the truth. Uh, the aim, the goal is not to tell a story, it's to give the truth of God. Then, not only do you see declaration, you see illustration, because the Bible says that he spoke this word with many such parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them. What is the parable? The parable is simply the picture of the principle. Uh, the parable is simply 
the illustration of the instruction. That's all it is. In other words, Jesus says, let me craft this for you. Let me, let me help you to put yourself in the middle of this story, and in the middle of the story, you'll see the truth that I want you to get. You see, what he's doing here, he's giving us windows on the truth, uh, windows so that you can see clearly into the, the sum and substance of the truth. But then that window becomes a mirror because not only do you see the truth, you begin to see yourself. You begin to see the application to your own life. And so in these same two verses, he not only gives a declaration and an illustration, he then ends with an application. And I really think this is a great example for all of us that are trying to give truth to other people. Don't just give information. Don't just give facts and data. I don't want you to know the parables better. I want you to know the Christ of the parables better. And I don't want you just to know the stories. I want you to know what to do with the stories. And so that's why the Bible says that when the disciples were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. So he would tell the parables to large crowds. But when the true disciples, those that really were, were seeking truth, were in private with him, then he would explain them and he would apply them. He would bring the truth home to them. In another portion of Scripture, Jesus said that one of the reasons he used parables was so that some would be blinded and others would see. And that seems a little strange, but those who don't want the truth, uh, Jesus said these stories are going to obscure the truth from them. But those who really want the truth, do you want the truth, dear listener? Are you hungry after God? Do you want to go deeper in your understanding of the God of the Bible? Would you like to know more of what God has for you, what the Lord is doing, what the Lord is going to do? All right, then come to the parables of Jesus. And through these stories, you will come to understand tremendous spiritual truth. You know, even in our world today, even secular uh, communicators talk about the power of narrative and the power of story. Well, friend, the person that understands that more than anyone is the master teacher, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why I think the greatest stories in the Word of God are the stories that Jesus told because they're true and they convey great truth to us. So we're looking behind the story to find the spiritual truth that God has for our lives. In each one of these parables, I'm going to give you three things. You might want to make a note of them and in fact, I would encourage you, you may use a journal or a notebook somewhere uh, to make some personal notes of things God is teaching you from the parables of Jesus. Uh, here are the things that we're going to, to learn as we study the parables of our Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, in every one of them, we're going to identify a primary interpretation. You see, every parable had one primary interpretation. The Word of God cannot say what you want it to say. It must say what God meant it to say. This is very important. One of, the, one of the temptations in the parables is to try to, to attach some meaning to every part of the story. And if you're not careful, you can begin to spiritualize portions of Scripture. That's not what we want to do. We want to uncover the one truth the Lord is trying to convey. One of the first things I learned studying the parables is that every parable has one primary interpretation. It may have many applications, but we want to find that one primary interpretation. Then, not only are we going to identify the primary interpretation, we're going to find God's personal revelation. Remember, all of the Word of God is God revealing himself to man. So what do we learn about God in each one of these stories? And then finally, we'll end, as Jesus did with his disciples, with our practical application. And not all of the parables uh, refer specifically to us, but there is something we can take away and apply to our lives about God and about what God desires from every one of these stories. I hope you'll join us as we study these spiritual stories, the parables Jesus told and their application to us. And let's see what Jesus wants to say to our lives. The parables of the Lord Jesus Christ hold tremendous truth and application to us today. And to help you in this study, we encourage you to visit our website, enjoyingthejourney.org, where Scott has prepared a reading guide to the parables that you can download and use. On our website, you will find many helpful tools and resources to help you in your walk with the Lord. Every sermon, each study, all of our resources are for the purpose of following God's Word and finding Christ's joy.